I'm going to make Antonio not being a teaching assistant of student affairs during 7th period of Durant High School because of rant to classroom 015 less seconds before the bell rang yesterday. And of course, Disney Studios Home Entertainment has released Coco on DVD, Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, and Lady and a Tramp on Blu-ray as the 6th Walt Disney Signature Collection title. After The Lion King, and Coco will have a descriptive video service spread by a woman who reads Despicable Me 3, Leilani Jones Wilmore, and the start of Coco on the Blu-ray, when a disc insert to the Blu-ray player, starting up, then the background of the finished 2011 Disney logo without the text, then a few seconds later, it cut to the language selection that chooses English, English descriptive audio, French, or Spanish. And when English is pressed, start with the long cut short 2011 Disney logo, then stay tuned for exciting preview screen showing the shot of the logo, then coming soon to theaters bumper, and then trailers for Incredibles 2, A Wrinkle in Time, and Dolphins, then the main menu, then press play, the FBI and a piracy warning and Homeland Security investigation screen. Then the film start to the 2011 Disney logo, and then the 1995 Pixar Animation Studios logo. Then the film, and during the movie, the opening credits, title, and signs are in different language by selecting French or Spanish. In the end, after the end credits, the full 2011 Disney logo with the film's closing theme if English track is selected, or the international credits and then the cut short 2011 Disney logo if French or Spanish is selected, and then the 1995 Pixar Animation Studios logo with at the very end, the screen fades out and light bulb flicks off, and movie is over. The film ended, then the alternate warning screen, and IPR Center Piracy is not a victimless crime screen, then the main menu, and the start of Lady and the Tramp, when a disc insert to the Blu-ray player, starting up, then the background of the finished 2011 Disney logo without the text, then a few seconds later, it cut to black, then the long cut short 2011 Disney logo. Then stay tuned for exciting preview screen showing the shot of the logo, then coming soon to theaters bumper, and then trailers for Incredibles 2, A Wrinkle in Time, and Dolphins, then coming soon to DVD and Blu-ray bumper, then a preview for Peter Pan, and then a promo for Walt Disney World, then the main menu, then press play, then the FBI and a piracy warning and Homeland Security investigation screen. Then the films start to the cut short 2011 Disney logo, then distributed by Wayne Vista film distribution logo, then the film. In the end, after the end, a Walt Disney production credit, the very cut short 2011 Disney logo, then ends the film, then the alternate warning screen, and IPR center piracy is not a victimless crime screen, then the main menu. Freeform ready for Despicable Me. And the start, after the Fosters, have a notice, this film has been modified from its original version. It has been formatted to fit this screen and edited to run in the time allotted. In a bold font, this Sunday, performers of Ops respond why Aklamadu, Senior, to Tina Palabras de Vida Eterna. Music wrote in 2014 by old elderly men who wrote music in the late 1960s and early 1970s, Miguel Manzano. So, make Antonio not being a teaching assistant of student affairs during 7th period of Durant High School. With pleasure. <coughs> yes, Antonio is not being a teaching assistant of student affairs during 7th period of Durant High School. Yes, yay, yeah.